Oh my god. I, I I need a bit of the process. Uh, he's supposed to be related to the guy with the chainsaw sword or something. There's a lot of chainsaw swords. I know he has like uh, dark hair or whatever. Oh, uh, he's 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 Lindau. Yeah, His name Lindau. is Lindau. Wait, there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Oh god, so oh my god, so you oh I'm surprised God Ear didn't so throughout my experience of God Ear 3, they made no reference to like anywhere else in the world. So for some reason they're they're so you're telling uh, I know I know you are telling me, but you're so you're telling me that the American the American division decided to make revenants, but the Jap but everyone else made God Eaters. God mm -hmm. That's America. See, that's America being America. I can see that actually. Unfortunately, I, I can un America being America. Americans yeah. Americans not following the rest of the world because like if anything else, the God Eater project m makes the most sense. It works. But be, but for some reason they decided to do this research of the boar parasites and like now we're forked. They themselves are forked with like the whole. Now I'm kind of wondering. It's, cool. it's so it's cool, cool, but it... yes. Is uh, as a revenant, if you pick up just like a stick or like a, a pipe on the ground, you're gonna deal damage to an origami. Right. Unlike a god eater, because they they need special weapons. But we, but we are enhanced. So we are, enhanced. We are basically the same thing. So we don't need anything. We can use our bare fist. Right. Oh, that would have been so cool if we had knuckles in this game. Can you imagine? What's also cool is we can suck up the power if we drink the uh, origami's blood. We get their blood code. Oh, that's so cool. But that's just a theory. That's a confirmed theory. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, a neat little confirmed theory is that the DLC bosses, all three of them, are from the from God Eater. They're just remodels. All three DLC bosses. P please shut up, because this is really cool. I'm loving this so much. <laughs> I had to take off my glasses because I was so excited by this. I had to take off my, had to take off my headset that was on my earbud because I'm excited about all this, like, this idea. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. I... I'm actually, I actually want to play the first God Eater right now, just because I want to see if I can yeah. see a red cloud in God Eater 1, but I doubt it. Because I, I do have it on the PlayStation uh, 4 as like so a... this game, this game takes place about 20 years before God Eater 1. What? That, from what, from your because research? God Eater, I'm pretty sure God Eater 1 takes place in like, what, 2050? I think. This, this is 2030? This game's supposed to take place like about like, three, five years after the ins after the Great Collapse. Really? Mm hmm. Wait, three to five years after the collapse? Yep. I I'm flabbergasted. And also, if you look at it, you know how in God Eater there's spikes protruding from the ground on the very. Uh... The very same spikes? I'm not realizing shit. Yes. Like, and if you look at like in the anime and in God Eater One, the spikes are already gone because they've they've been there so long, but they're still here. They're still fresh. Like in this game, is still fresh. Yeah, and then for God Eater, for the God Eater series, dear God, I'm I'm so floored. Like I'm so floored. Like oh my God, uh, this is content. Yeah. This is because mankind outside the red mist are losing the fight, so remnants are created to fight the horrors. Okay, that's what Spriggan said. So like it makes okay, this makes sense. So because they're losing the war, this was their desperate measure against the yeah. origami. But then it took many years before the um, God Eaters came into came, uh, became uh, uh, deployable. But by the time that the God Eaters were de deployed. We were already like a small. Uh, our species became very small. 
So in a sense, like it's very crucial that not a lot of people die. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Well, I... What's cool about revenants is that you can use dead bodies to your advantage. Right. To bring more soldiers, and they're unkillable, just like origami. Until of course, like until of course, they they're given us the, the a core. Good... The core is destroyed, or whatever. The heart core. Yeah, like that's the only weakness. If you just eat the entire revenant, then just they're just dead. <laughs> well, yes and no, because the the core probably won't be destroyed if they're gonna chew up the whole thing. They'll probably not destroy it. How the heart? As you saw, as you saw from the cutscene, that one uh, revenant got chewed up by. Uh, Pizza, but didn't die. Interesting, yeah. Okay, so like it's it's not a foolproof plan, yeah. yeah. I could show you the good ending, and that would open another plot hole, which is also really cool, but also another plot hole. Sure, like bottom me is like at, at this point I like. <clears throat> I probably won't be able to publish this segment until like I'm done, but it's actually really cool. Yeah. Or I'll, I'll probably like. Here, well, I, I actually there's two parts to the ending, so I can show you just the, the good, without the spoiler part. I mean, I definitely would like to talk theory now because like I'm I've been meaning to want someone to talk theory with about things, and this is the best way to do it because the fact that they're in the yeah. same they're in the same generation. Yeah. Yeah. Now, oh now tell God. me this. You know how we're talking like this, right? Imagine me explaining this all to you while typing. That would have been the hardest thing for me to do. That would have been so hard for you to type out. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, but the, the magic of technology. Chat. Wait, is that... What's... Is that a blood bead? Or where's that from? I could skip this and show you where it came from real quick. I mean, I'm, I guess it'll show us eventually, but like... Or are you doing it? Doesn't show you. doesn't show you where you get it? shows you before but i completely skipped that part yeah i mean i guess it would make sense if like it was your last remaining um it was your parting gift or like something to remind you of eo io or whatever actually that makes sense so we'll we'll go with that so i don't want to show you this anyways i want the good ending to be for you to discover the good ending yeah, I want the good ending for you to discover. Oh god, so you're gonna, so you're telling me you're gonna. I mean, I don't mind crying twice. I'll only show you this part of the good ending. <laughs> the other part, if you want to see it, go play it. Ooh, I'm just playing. And then there's also YouTube too, which is also an amazing tool. Yes, YouTube, of course. Of course, YouTube. Yeah, because just... YouTube ruins everything. Yeah, I. I, I have people who uh, said they use YouTube to already watch the ending. Like. That, that's I wouldn't do that honestly. It's, it's actually funny. Yeah, it's, it's funny because my wife and I like both kind of agree. Oh, so we, you see that taxi in the background? That's a New York taxi. Like I noticed that. Yeah, yeah. I'm starting to see it. It's all coming together. This is a crunk meme. So uh, Spring had mentioned um, boar parasites are origami placed in the hearts of human corpse. Nice. Yeah, like he. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, Spriggan. That, but they gotta think. They started the uh, the boar parasite program after the uh, the oracle cells lost control and started going berserk. So America thought they were parasites, uh huh, not actual cells. Right. So the so you're saying that the so from this research, so from this game, everyone assumes that it's a parasite, but the reality is it's genetic. Yeah, yeah, it is. So our heart is actually a normal origami core. Mm hmm Because they can't actually look at the heart. Mm hmm So they don't, they actually don't know. So when, I'm, okay, so already from this cutscene, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck's happening because if they all decide to go out, what happens to this, what happens to Manhattan? That's what, well, what I mean, they saved everybody. So they everyone fixed, they they fixed the blood bead problem. You just didn't know that because you haven't seen the cutscene. So they so they they fixed the blood bead the blood bead problem, 
and something. How is how is Morisame <laughs> hold my backpack? Forget all the other girls. She's Bay. She'll carry you when you're tired. She has back and legs for days. She doesn't show it, but she has a booty and a leg work of a goddess. <laughs> but itty bitty, she's she's flatter than my ironing board, but she can carry. But that's actually that's actually really cool because I noticed in her vaults there's a hammer. We could have had her fight with us if we had DLC for that. There is a mod to switch. Uh, she, you switch some partner to get Murasame instead. I forgot which partner it was though. Mm -hmm. I think it was uh, Mia. Oh fuck! I would definitely do that. I would definitely trade Mia with. There's also a mod to switch their outfits too. Which is funny. Yeah, I would also get further. Um, it would also further stop me from uh, streaming it on YouTube. Definitely, <laughs> but from what I'm, but from just looking at this alone, it, so what you're telling me is that they somehow found a way to like keep the, the miasma wall up at, at all times, mm -hmm. and also solve the beat, the the blood bead problem. All thanks to Ian. Yeah, so I'm guessing. So from what, so from that alone, it makes it, it makes me feel like as if. There's a because there's a constant supply for those clones. They're the multiple clones are what's keeping it up, right? It's from what it feels like. No, all the clones disappear. Hmm. You can see uh, right before the final boss, they all disappear right at this cutscene. But I want right. you to go see it, man. I'll see it eventually. There's at least, there's at least some parts I want you to see. You know. So during the first, during your first uh, playthrough, how long did it take you to beat the game? Well, do you want days wise or hours wise? Hours, because like I'm, because like every time I str I'm streaming this, it's gonna be in four hour segments. But this it, code vein has become like a five hour stream, and I'm okay with it because of revelations. Because I have friends, I have people to talk to, I'm not alone. <laughs> Totally. Yeah, so like, how, how many hours did it take you the first time, do you remember? Uh, about 32 hours, best guess. Nice, that's actually short, that's actually shorter than it took me to beat Final Fantasy VII, so, um, I should be fine within the next two months to uh, beat this game. Because <laughs> it took me, yeah, because I've been, I've played, because I, I, I played Final Fantasy VII since the inception, but then it took me longer because I need because at the same time, I had to finish Final Fantasy VIII at the time. I, fought, I, I had to finish Resident Evil 3 at the time. So then that delayed that delayed my production. But definitely, I finished... I, it came out in, what, m middle of March? And I just finished it like a week or two ago? Mm. It took Spriggan three months to beat um, Code Vein. Okay, so days wise for me, it probably took about a little more than a week right. for me to beat the game. That's just because I played it every day and it was the main game I was playing. Right. Yeah, I can see that because like for me, like for my schedule, I I would always like, um, I personally have been making four hour streams and then I supplement that stream with like. 90 minutes here 90 minutes there of other games because i have a laundry list of games to finish and so that's that's how my schedule been that's how that's how i've been producing and now because i've been doing it i have like roughly like videos posted every day until the last day of the month so like i'm really happy i have like a i'm consistent oh but i'm very happy to knowing now that we're in the we're technically in the American division of uh, Fenrir, which is so cool, but so dumb. But it's really cool to where this is. We're technically so in within the within the world of Code Vein and Gaudier, We're in the early stages of the pandemic, which is pretty cool. And that's yeah. the map of New York. That's the map of. Well, actually, this is a map of a Japanese uh, city. Really? They didn't want to actually show where the game was placed. 
So they just took a random location and like, oh, here we go. Here's the map. Why? I don't know. Game creators are weird. No, no, but like, it's it's cool to wear like. Je I mean, it makes sense where it's a random place in Japan because it's a Japanese game. That makes sense. But for them yeah. to make the world within Manhattan, that's reasonable because, in a way, Manhattan is Marvel's... It happens like... It's the same thing in Marvel. In DC, everything happens in Gotham. Gotham is modeled after, Man, after New York. So mm -hmm. it makes complete sense that New York is always in the shits. Because it's famous for being in the shits. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, God. But I'm oh, have you ever seen this? The piano? Yeah, you just sitting here and played the piano. I have not done that yet. I was so busy not dying, but I love this. Well, how, why? So are you pressing buttons to play the piano? Yeah, I, I have to. I don't really know the actual buttons on the keyboard. It's easier to play this thing on a controller. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> you can actually play the piano. On that? Oh, God. Yeah. I'm so livid. I'm very happy. I'm so very happy about all this. <laughs> oh, my God. My roommates think I'm crazy right now, but I'm... I'm so, like, it's... Living it's, the dream. I'm living the dream learning that this is canonically a prequel to God Ears because from if what you're saying is true then by the time they figured out the research for the origami, by the time they figured out the research for, like, God Eaters, the population was cut to a quarter. But this was this was Manhattan's best... This was Manhattan's best chance against the crisis at the time. And now we just, and now we just made Spriggan uh, want to play Goat Vane. He said, he said, now I want to play it. God damn it. <laughs> I love it. I mean, definitely, like, if you guys, I mean, if the both of you have Code Vein and, like, stuff like that, definitely. Uh, I just, I, for, for me personally, I've not had breakfast yet, so I definitely need to go eat. And I definitely need. I haven't had breakfast either, my friend. God, wait, what's your, what's your time zone? It's 12. Oh, so you're. On the you're on the west coast with me. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit! I'm I'm in Washington. Holy shit! That's actually so cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, God. But I do. Uh, I'll I'll go ahead and talk to you more on uh, Discord. Okay. I'm gonna take a break and actually just uh, um, go eat and play a different game. Oh yeah, totally. I don't mind at all. Do what you do. What you want to do. Yeah, no, but yeah, appreciate it. Uh, oh, wait, have you ever, um, have I? Go? Have I? Okay. Have, have you ever seen this? Have you ever messed with the jukebox? I only walked by it. So you can actually listen to God Eater songs. Oh, shit. I, I enjoy one of, I, for me personally, I've enjoyed one of their fights. Uh, so, I, I enjoyed Rage, I, Rage Burst was the first full game that I've played. Is that is actually fun? Oh, Spring is in New York. Cool. Spring is in New York. I'm in Washington, and it's funny to where I'm hoping that they have that. There's a song on in God Eater Two, that I hope they have. It's a battle song. So in Rage in God Eater Two, Rage Burst, there's a mode that you get into called Burst to where the spikes that you see out on the field come off your back as like a power boost like your own wings in in the game so the pill so the spikes that are coming out inside of manhattan they're they come out of your back as little spikes and they're wings to push you forward to give you a power boost which is i find very cool now that i've now that i've been told the plot twist which is, they're in the same world. And it's really cool to where that's what the research has pushed us forward into. The idea that, like, the exploration of these parasites that turn out to be um, cells, it's super cool to see that happen to where, like, we've turned that, we've turned the destruction into our power. It's just, ah. Uh, it, it wets my mouth for more content. 
Of course, my friend, of course. Of course, yes. Yes, excellent, good purchase. Good transactions. <laughs> I mean, I definitely would have wished that I've had this game on console so as well. You see that hammer, right? Yeah, I have it. Yeah, yeah, you can collect it. Yeah, it was so cool. I'm sorry? She also has a sword back there. Can you not see it? I... After you put down the home window, but, uh... I can't, I can see, I can't see it right now. It's, uh, it's back there. That's a sword? Holy shit. Well, then I guess she is a weapons dealer, so it makes sense that she has weapons laying around. Yeah. I just realized I was playing songs, and you couldn't hear the, them for anything. Actually, that was actually completely okay. Uh, because, unfortunately... When it comes to copyright, it's kind of weird, but it's honestly fine. Like, I'm really happy for, like, everything else. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm just really hoping that the cutscenes don't, like, interrupt anything when I publish it. But if it does uh, do something, then I can definitely figure it out a bit later. Yeah. But yeah, thank you so much. I'm gonna end the call and then have some breakfast. Of course, of course. All right, talk Enjoy to you. Your food. I'm sorry. Enjoy your food. Thank you. Enjoy your time, Ryu. Uh, talk to I you soon. Will. Talk to you soon. Put a comment and like down below. Tell me how poorly I've done, and let me know how I can how can I improve my game in Neo 2. So, as always, guys. My name is Tyler. I'm your friend, and I'll see you next time. Bye.